<laughs> All right, so I'm here with Jay and Socia. Jay and Socia, how old are you guys? I'm 26. Both of you guys? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys a couple? Yeah, we're married. How long have you guys been together? 13 years. 13 years? Yeah, since, since we were in junior high. What's your guys' current situation right now? Are you guys homeless? Yeah, just for the little time being we had. How long have you guys been homeless? Mm. How long ago, let's see. About a year now. Well, almost a year. Almost a year? Yeah, about nine, eight, nine months. How did that happen? How did you guys become homeless? Uh, I let one of my cousins move in, and he was supposed to help me pay the rent. Yeah. We had came up with our half, and he didn't. And I was trying to convince him and push him to get a job, and he wouldn't want to get a job. And when it was time to pay rent, <clears throat> he, he didn't have anything to show for, so I had to kick him out and the manager who already has a problem with us uh saw that we didn't have money for rent and you know she kicked us out right then and there and then we weren't allowed in the complex to live with my mom to you know what i mean help us out a little bit and she threatened to kick her out if we were still on the premises so we didn't have nowhere else to go and we just ended up here so what do you guys do out here to survive right now pretty much anything panhandle or you know what i mean ask people for help yeah do you guys panhandle like to try to get a room or something like that? Yeah, most of the time, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, and usually it's just for food. How yeah. much do you guys make a day, like generally? I can't even say, really. Do you guys have like a quota where like you guys try to make a certain amount or not? No, no, it's just like as much, you know what I mean? Like it's whatever. Yeah. Do you guys mess with any substances out here? Um, no, we tried, or we have, but we don't, you know what I mean? Like, nothing heavy at all. You guys don't mess with the blues? No. No? Nah. Because that's like the number one thing uh, that's Main Street, yeah. out here. Yeah. How, how big is that out, out here? That's pretty big. It's like yeah. the main thing, yeah. Is it dangerous on this side of Mesa? Yeah, it's really dangerous. Is it? Yes. What kind of stuff happens out here? Yeah, everything from getting shot to getting stabbed. I almost got stabbed by a railroad spike the other day. By who? By a railroad spike. You know yeah. what I mean? The nails that go into the railroad? Yeah. yeah I almost got, her bag almost got jacked, and I almost got stabbed with that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, how big is, like, the homeless population out here? Is there a lot of homeless? Yeah, I say it's overpopulated with homeless. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of homeless. Where do you guys sleep at night? Do you guys have a tent? Uh, no, we don't, and we pretty much don't try to sleep at night because around here, yeah, you're most likely to get jacked. Yeah. So far, just the other day, maybe like four or five days ago, our bags had got stolen. That had everything in there. You know what I mean? Like, right now, because of that happening, all we have is like the clothes on our back. You know, every time we go to sleep, this is probably at least the fourth or fifth time that we got that stuff. Our stuff got stolen while we were sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so no, we don't sleep. We try not to sleep at night because. If it's, not, if it's not that happening, then it's the cops waking us up, you know what I mean? And yeah. fucking with us and telling us to leave or do whatever they can to try to throw us in jail. But yeah, um, other than that, we don't really try to sleep anywhere. We just stay up all night and keep, keep it moving, walking and trying to panhandle still all night. Um, does your family know about your situation? Yes. And what do they tell you guys? Do they try to get you guys to come back home or do um, they try to give you a, a spot to stay? No, not really, because with their situation, it's like their 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 houses are already full. You know what I mean? Like, so they can't really do as much. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have kids together? Yes, we do. We have a son and a daughter. So you guys have two kids. How old are they? Uh, my daughter. Our daughter's four, and our son is gonna be eight. Where are, Where are they at right now? With my mom. With your mom? Yeah. So she's holding it down, taking care of them. Yes. That's good, man. Um. Do you keep in contact with the kids or not? Well, we tried to when we had our phones, but again, our stuff got stolen and shit. It's, and it's really hard for us to come up with money to buy a new phone every time our shit gets jacked. Yeah. So Yeah, so we, pre we pretty much try it as much as we can. But we, uh, we video chat with them, and then whenever we have our rooms, they come over on the weekends. Yeah, whenever we get our rooms, they'll come and visit. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys get bothered by the cops a lot out here? Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Actually, one, uh, a few of the officers know who my dad is, 
and then they found out who I was, and because of the, my dad, I guess he has some kind of reputation with them, so because of that, they fuck with me, like, a lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a lot. So he's known out here? Yeah, he, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Do you guys, are you guys trying to get out of your situation right now? Have you guys looked at any kind of shelters or anything like that? Oh, of course, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And what do they tell you at the shelters? Well, we haven't went to a shelter to find out because right now we're like basically talking to like certain people um, who know exactly what kind of shelter or whatever, you know what I mean? Kind of program that we're looking for for us to go to. And so far we heard about two, maybe three. So we're going to try to check out. And yeah, something that could uh, take me, my wife and also our kids, you know, because I've heard of like one or two that where we could still be together, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's something we're trying to look into right now. That's good, man. How was your childhood growing up, man? Um, it was all right, you know, but just never, I never really grew up with my mom or my dad. You know what I mean? I lived with my grandma until I was like maybe 12, something like that. Yeah. About 10, actually. Yeah, um, other than that, it was a pretty normal childhood. Yeah. Were you, were you a good kid or? Were you really, or did you get into trouble? Um, I wasn't a good kid per se, but I was all right. You know, I still had some trouble here and there, you know. I smoked weed here and there, shit, whatever, or drink, but I wasn't bad, you know what I mean? I wasn't yeah. doing, like, robberies or anything like that, no. That's good, man. Yeah. And um, what about your girl? <laughs> I can't even see her. Yeah, she's on camera she, shy. She's camera shy? <laughs> yeah. Um, how was her childhood growing up? From what she told me, it sounded pretty much the same thing, you know, but she actually had her parents in her life. So she had both her parents? Yeah, pretty much. That's good, man. Yeah. Um, if any younger viewers are watching this interview and they're thinking about trying blues, trying substances, running on the streets, what kind of advice would you guys give them? Honestly, any advice I could give them is... I would tell them to think twice about it, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's not it's not easy, you know? It, it's hard. It really is. Especially if you're dealing with substances, you know what I mean? And you have to come up with funds for your own addiction, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's not easy at all. It, it's hard. Even just basic surviving, eating and shit like that, you know? Or, or hygiene-wise, too, is also hard. But yeah, I, I tell them just to think twice about whatever they're going to do, you know? If you're on drugs or something, you know? or doing blues or something like that, you might want to think twice about your current situation, how good you have it versus how bad we are, you know what I mean? In our yeah. position. Think about something like that, and, you know, it could be worse, you know? Exactly. Yeah, so, you know, I say just think twice about where you're at. You know what I mean? That's, that's pretty much all I can say. Where do you guys usually go um, take a shower at? or? We have a couple of family members that actually live around here. Yeah. We, we can't really stay, you know, because it's like the same shit, you know, yeah. with people staying there already. Um, but yeah, we usually just go over there, you know, we'll eat a little bit and, you know, shower and come back out and do what we have to do. Well, that's good. At least you guys have the, them people that look out for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, all right, man. Well, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. No problem. And are you okay with me? using this on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm fine with it. And just in case some of my subscribers want to reach out to you with any sort of help, um, where can it reach you? Do you have any social media? No, I don't have any social media, but we do have an email. Yeah, our email. Hey, go ahead. It's going to be uh, J, just the letter J, and then Zotai, my last name, Z-O-T-I-G-H, at gmail.com, and that's it. No. All right, Jay. Do you have another one or not? No, no excuses that one. Yeah, All right, Jay, thank you. Yeah, no I appreciate problem. it. Yeah.